What's up, you damn gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful gamers? Welcome back to role playing games. This is Mario Kona in the internet. I like to discuss about RPGs, like the content, like the video, super appreciated. No one's really today. You're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You're indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. <laughs> Today's video, we're going to be speaking about weapons and how to build a weapon on Wild Hearts. And oh boy, am I pleased to see the degree of density that we have to build a weapon and that is just a weapon <laughs> you also have talismans and armor so on and so forth i have been making tons of weapons and i can confidently and happily say that the level of customization for a weapon in this game it's just amazing and it's going to give you grinding and grinding hours that being said let's just touch basics on the weapons all right so this is my weapon that I have right here. It's a weapon that I have been working on. And my ultimate goal is to make this one. which Because it's one of the best end game weapons for pure raw damage. Now, again, touching basics on how to make a weapon. What you want to do is kill, craft a basic weapon. And then that basic weapon branch it into the direction where you want to build the next weapon. And then kill monsters. This is going to require, for example, a Sap Scorch. This is a King's Tusk, Sport Tail, so on and so forth. In here you require higher rank monsters, so on and so forth. So basically, the gameplay loop. Kill a monster, use the materials to craft a weapon, kill the next monster, and use the materials to craft the next tier of the weapon. That is the basic of it all. Now. If you are familiar with monster hunting games, and you know that Monster Hunters has a very similar system where you can basically kill monsters, upgrade the weapon, so on and so forth. Well, that is the basics of it all. But let me tell you <laughs> that with this game, it's not really as simple as that. And as a matter of fact, an upgrade downwards, it's not always going to be an upgrade. And I'll be explaining that later on in the video. But for now, let's touch the next portion, which is skills. So basically we have two different kind of skills. We have the inherent skills, which is something that a weapon is always going to have. You cannot change it, you cannot alter it. It's always going to be there in the weapon. And the inherited skills, those are different. Inherent skills are always going to be inherent of a weapon. Inherited skills are skills that are going to be inherited by the branch that you decide to take. So for example, at this point in my weapon, I have Critical Master, Critical Master, Wood Wilt, Resurrection Stance, and those are basically skills that I have inherited by this path. But if I continue to build the weapon, is that, uh, for example, as you can see right, th right there, on the next portion of upgrade, I am always going to be stuck with the inherent skills and the inherited skill that natively is true of the weapon. So that is never going to change. So in this case, I want to keep these ones and these ones and enhance. I will later get rid of that earth wheel, but for now I can't. Such as right now I can get rid of the one stroke fury. So what I want to carry is these ones and then these ones I'm just going to have it just because. Bear thread. Bear thread is something that I actually do want to keep. So now I'm going to get rid of this guy and enhance the next portion of the weapon. Now I have wood wield. Wood wield is something that I do not have, that I do not want to have in my weapon. Whereas the blade, the bar, I do want to have that one. So I'm going to get rid of wood wield. But as you were able to see, when you're making an upgrade, you're always going to be stuck with the inherited skill. Now that being said. The common consensus is to believe that you're going to be upgrading your weapon in one single path. This is true only for this one. I did really plan this weapon thoughtfully before making this video. But let me tell you that, that you do not have to. You can also go upwards and then from upwards you can go down here and then here and then here and you could do... You could follow this path. You could if you wanted to. Now there's the tricky part. Why would you? Why would you want to make that? Why would you go? Why would you want to nerf <laughs> your own weapon? For a very specific reason. Let's divide the branches. 
These two branches are going to be Earth Elemental Weapons. These two branches are going to be Fire Elemental Weapons. These two branches right here are going to be Wood Elemental Weapons. These two branches right here are going to be Wind Elemental Weapons. And this branch right here is going to be Water Weapons. So as you can see, I can inher inherit the uh, Water Wield skill, which is going to be 3% more efficient as a water weapon damage and carry that water wheels all the way down here and that is something that i want to do if i get to the end game weapons which are going to be these two for the water tree i would want to have that water wheels but that is not really <laughs> how it's going to be more efficient that is not how it go it's going to work if i go all the way down here on the fire branch Let me see if I can find it. Or was it right here? Here it is. This is the wind branch. And in here I have a water wield. This water wield is going to be 7%. So if I want to make my weapon 10% more efficient when it comes to water, the path that I would follow would be making this way, work all this way down here, take the water wield right there, carry this water wheel all the way down here go up here up here again and then again in here gather this water wheel as well and now start building downwards that way my weapon would now instead of having three percent or seven percent water wheel it would have ten percent water wheel which is going to give me ten percent more water damage and that is true for every single branch so in here this is the flame tree and in the flame tree I will be able to find the wind wheels I want to carry this wind wheels all the way up here to the wind branch which will have the wind wheels right here and then I want to go all the way down here carry this and then proceed downwards again and that is how I want to make a weapon. That is why you want to have in mind what you need to know. Is that this is not going to go downwards. This is not a, a tree. It's a bush. And this bush you should be able to explore it. Because if there is a skill right here. For example this critical chain with 80%. It's really really good. But it's all the way over here. I can most definitely carry this thing all the way up here and do a whole bunch of stuff. So it is very important that you know every single skill that you have on this tree. And not just be simple minded and believe that this is going to be how you're going to upgrade your weapon. Because it's not if you want to be... Well, I did... <laughs> trust me. I did plan thoughtfully this weapon. But if I wanted to, for example, carry all of those skills that I have right there, I could also do this. And if you're going to be stopped by the notes that you have already purchased, so you're not going to be able to go through them again. But you can most definitely do this and do a whole bunch of crazy stuff for you to be able to carry the skills that you want. Now, the final portion of the video is that uh, in a hunting game, it's a common consensus that going downwards on the tree is going to be always an upgrade. It's not going to be true for this game. Now I'm going to be using the water weapons in this tree, right here as an example. So in Monster Hunter, for example, this would be the tier 7 for saying something, and this would be the tier 8, which would be better. That is not true in here. Once you have reached a certain rarity, those weapons are going to be just as efficient as the other one, with the difference that uh, one is going to do different things. So these ones, those are yellow, same rarity and damage. And uh, this one, well, this is purple, this is better than these last ones. But these ones are most definitely going to be the very same thing one to another. They are just going to have different stuff that are going to fill different roles on your build. Let me explain. This one has 420 damage for base damage. And also 280 damage for water damage. This one has 385 and 280 water damage. Do you see how it feels? It seems like it's a downgrade to go to the next tier because this is not an upgrade. This is something that is going to make a different weapon, that is going to fill different roles, that is going to have different purposes. 
the thing that is going to make a weapon unique, it's going to be the skill. So do not believe that because this one has less damage is is worse than this one or the other way around. So maybe for your build you're trying to use Trickster or the Yukemi Art and the Eagle Eye, which are stuff that this one doesn't have. But maybe you're trying to get the Ice Wielder, which is a very, very cool skill. A 20% critical ch uh, chain, dude, that, that's amazing. An Ice Wielder, 10% versus Trickster, but that's 40%. <laughs> so you see, once you reach this point, do not make the common mistake that believing that this one is going to be the this one is going to be the upgrade for this one because it's not. Once you reach this point, you won't start making the build considering everything that I told you before to make that weapon that more de deadlier. That is how you build a weapon in this game. That is how it's going to be differentiated. That is true for every single other weapon. Like for example, we have. Um, let me see if I can find another... This one, for example. This one has more base damage, which would be somewhat of a contender of a weapon that I am using right now. But I do not want to use Connoisseur, 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 <laughs> or Acquisition Art. Because that is not what I want for my weapon. Sure, it has a little bit more damage. But this one suits better my playstyle, and I love Destruction Art. I'll also be making a video dedicated to this weapon, why it's so amazing. But uh, as you can see, once you reach the endgame, building a weapon, it's not just based on reaching this. Even if you unlock this, it's, it doesn't mean that these guys are going to be better than the previous ones. It's all going to depend on the final tiers of the weapon and the skills that you want for those weapons. So no, do not believe that it's going to be an upgrade, because it's not. And also do have in mind that you have all of this bush to explore thousand possibilities for you to carry thousands of skills to your desired weapon of build. No one has told you today you're a gorgeous and beautiful person, you're indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, it really helps me like you have an idea. And I'll be seeing you goddamn gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Have a beautiful day and goodbye.